Hey everybody, so I have a huge review and comparison video to do for you today on dry shampoos. I purchased six of them over the last month and a half to two months and I have been using them a ton lately so I can give you guys a really good review. Now, this is going to be a longer video because I do really want to give you guys, like I said, a really good review on these six products. I have um, a tie for first place which may surprise you but I definitely have one loser and that loser happens to be this Tresemme um, Fresh Start Dry Shampoo. Now, I picked this particular one up at Walgreens for $4.99, but it is available in Canada at Walmart for $5.99 and Shoppers Drug Mart for $7.99. This bottle or can contains um, 5.7 fluid ounces, and it is the second largest bottle that I purchased. And um, this particular hairspray, and I'm going to hairspray this particular dry shampoo, and I'm going to do this with all of them, does. Um, go on extremely wet as you can see it does take a while to dry but when it does dry I'll show you the consistency of it there as well now the pros and cons to this particular product um, the pros are definitely that um, it isn't as powdery as the other ones which you will see when this finally dries and it is available pretty much everywhere. Um, I went on like a huge quest, I guess, to find dry shampoos. And um, this Tresemme one I found in the United States at Walmart, Target, Walgreens, and CVS. And then in Canada, I found it at um, Loblaws or the Super Great Canadian Superstore, Walmart, and um, Shoppers, and Rexall as well. So this is definitely the most accessible dry shampoo of all of the ones that I have. Um, as you can see, that doesn't dry with a huge powdery residue left on at all, so that's pretty nice. Now, this one in particular had a different um, application method than the rest of the dry shampoos. All of the other dry shampoos tell you to shake the can vigorously, spray where you need it, massage it in with your fingers, um, and then comb this it through. This one says to spray it in, let it sit for one to two minutes, and then comb it through. And I think that's where the problem lies with this product. Um, I also tried it, it, that method did not work for me, but I also did try it um, by massaging it in, and again, it didn't work for me. All I found was that it really dispersed the oils from my um, root down to my tip, and made my entire head look really greasy, so yeah, not a huge fan of this. Um, also, don't really like the packaging on this, and I know that really doesn't make a difference, but with the product itself, but I really don't. I think the packaging is really tacky. Now, if you see how this is applied here, when I rub this in, which is what you're not supposed to do, you're not supposed to rub this in, you can see that it disperses pretty well. However, it does remain a residue, um, turn into a residue on my finger, which when I rub my fingers together, and this is the only product that does this, it like balls up, if you can see that. Um, and I found that I actually had that residue like on the sides of my face after I used this product, which was another reason why I really didn't like it. Um, and even if I didn't massage it in, I still had that residue. So this definitely is the most accessible dry shampoo out of all of them. Um, it is the most cost effective as well because of the price and the volume in the can. But I don't like this dry shampoo. I don't think it works at all. And I don't personally have overly oily hair. So if this doesn't work for me, it's not going to work for somebody who has really oily hair. So I don't suggest this one at all. Up in fourth place, um, this is the Schwarzkopf Got To Be Rockin' It dry shampoo. And I picked this one up again at Walgreens for $5.99. But I have also seen it um, at many other places as well. This is a new dry shampoo. Shampoo. It just came out in Canada. Um, I just saw it at Shoppers Drug Mart the other day, and it is actually on sale for eight bucks, I think, seven or eight bucks. Um, but it normally retails for nine ninety nine at Shoppers Drug Mart. I haven't seen it at my local Walmart yet, but my local Walmart does have the Sports Golf Got to Be um, brand, so it may be coming shortly. So this is the second most accessible one that I have found. Um, again, I purchased this one at Walgreens for $5.99 and it has a net weight of 4.3 ounces and it is actually the smallest can of all of the dry shampoos that I purchased. Now, um, I will show you guys. Now, I'm spraying this really close to my hand so you can see. Um, normally, you would hold the can 8 to 12 inches away, but as you can see, that goes on pretty dry. You can't really see it at all. I will allow this to dry and then show you guys again. 
Now the pros to this product, um, like I said, it is more accessible than the other dry shampoos that I have as well. Um, Got To Be is a pretty well-known brand and they do have some really amazing products. This product does work. It did get rid of the oil in my hair and I didn't have an issue with it dispersing the grease anywhere or having any other issues with it at all. Um, so this is definitely a product that you may enjoy. Now, the cons to this product are quite simply that it's not as cost effective as any of the other dry shampoos. It is $5.99, which is mid-range um, in the United States, but in Canada it is a more expensive dry shampoo and it is the least amount of product that you get in any of the dry shampoos that I purchased. So it is less cost effective. The other con that I found to this product is that it leaves a really heavy residue in my hair. Um, and that's the only reason why it is in a lower category than any of the other ones. When I scratched or when I ran my hands through my hair, I would get a white residue, almost like dandruff, on my fingernails and underneath my nails if I scratched. And I really did not like that at all. It weighs down my hair. It didn't give me very much volume at all. And I need a product that gives me volume because my hair is normally very lacking in that department so I like something that's going to give me a bit more volume and I did not get any volume out of this product and actually weighed my hair down. So if you have thicker hair or oilier hair I think maybe this would work better for somebody um, like I said with thicker or oilier hair however it did not work well for me at all. So as you can see now that that is dry there is a very light powder effect there and when massaged out there's no residue on my finger and really none on my hand. I just found that it really sat in my hair. That's the only issue I had with it. Coming in third place, I have um, the Beyond the Zone Pro Formula Rock On Dry Shampoo that I purchased from Sally's Beauty Supply. Now this particular one is $10.19 and it is the most expensive dry shampoo that I have here. That is at the Canadian Sally's. Um, the American Sally's, I believe it's $8.99. $7.99, $8.99, but I actually purchased this, this particular one for $7.99. It was on sale at Sally's Beauty Supply. Um, this is the largest um, container of all of the dry shampoos that I purchased, and it has six ounces. There we go. So as you can see, this one has a very strong powdery residue to it almost instantly as soon as you spray it on, and it will intensify as the product dries as well. Um... The pros to this product are, like I said, you get the most out of this product, so you're gonna, it's gonna last you a little bit longer than any of the other dry shampoos. And this product, again, does really work. The cons to this product, however, I hate the packaging. I hate the packaging on this. I think this is so extremely tacky with the giant danger symbols. I understand that it's flammable, but if you look at a different container, like it's so small, you don't need it all over the packaging. The packaging is just tacky to me. I hate it. Um, also, I found that this product I needed to reapply throughout the day. Um, it didn't get me through a full eight-hour day or even close to it, really. Um, about four to five hours in, I did have to reapply this because my hair was starting to get pretty lackluster and losing its volume and looking a little droopy, which in turn makes it look a little greasy as well. So I did have to reapply this product. The other issue that I had with this is this is the third bottle that I had to purchase. And I understand that it may have just been the previous bottles itself and it has nothing to do really with the product. But the first bottle that I purchased um, at Sally's, when I got it home and went to spray it, it would not spray at all. There's like no aerosol in the can or whatever it is that pressurizes the product to come out. The second, so I took it back. Sally says a great return policy though, so no complaints there. I returned the product. Um, I got the second one and I got it home and about halfway through, the aerosol stopped working on it as well. I thought maybe it was clogged, so I cleaned it up with a little bit of hot water, um, tried it again, still nothing, returned it. So this is the third one that I have. Um, I've used this quite a few times and it does still work. So it may have just been the first two bottles that I purchased, but that's just a pain that this is the third bottle that I've had to use. Um, hopefully I'll get through the whole container before the aerosol runs out of the can. But as you can see, that is a very strong powdery residue. If you do have darker hair, and my roots are darker obviously than my blonde at the moment, I need to get my hair done. Um, I don't necessarily suggest this product. This one is, again, it's harder, I found, to 
also massage it into your hair to get rid of that white residue. So just keep that in mind when purchasing a, um, a dry shampoo. You want to test it out on the back of your hand like this to see how well it's going to rub in. So then massaging it in. Massages in really well. Really, oh, you can kind of see it. Um, and it does leave a slight residue on my fingers, but not a very strong one. But again, it is harder to um, work into your hair and get that gray cast um, that some dry shampoos leave out. So this one falls in third place. Coming in second place um, is my Batiste dry shampoo, which you guys all know that I absolutely love. I purchased this particular um, one at Shoppers Drug Mart. Uh, normally it's $8.99. This week it's on sale for $8. I have seen the Batiste Dry Shampoo at Sally's as well. In Canada it's $10.99. In the United States I think it might have been it's either $10.99 or $11.99. So it is available for purchase. Um, in the United States I've only seen it at Sally's and I've only seen it at one Sally's. So I don't know if it's every Sally's has this. Um, container holds 5.5 ounces. I just got the original one. Um, at my shopper's drummer there's the original, the blush, and the tropical scent. Um, but this is just the original and I like it. As you can see this product again has a very strong white residue when applied. So again this is another one that I would not necessarily suggest if you have darker hair. I don't have an issue with it. I used it today and as you can see like it's all massaged in. No issues whatsoever. Um, but if you have darker hair than I do, I don't know how well this would go into your hair. However, I do know that Batiste does make a dry shampoo for darker hair. The powder is not white. It's a darker color. Um, so that is always an option as well. So, um, the pros of this product, plain and simple, it works. I didn't need to touch up during the day. Um, it's a great price, $8.99. Understandably, it's a little bit more expensive in the United States. But it is um, a mid-range mid dry shampoo price-wise. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the packaging. My mom says she used to use this when she was a kid as well. And it's like the same packaging. It hasn't changed at all. So it would be nice if they could upgrade the packaging a little bit. But... You know, whatever. It has a very strong baby powdery scent to it. Um, they say it's like unscented or the original, but I find it smells a lot like baby powder. But dry shampoo is based off of the idea of putting baby powder in your hair to soak up all the oil. So that would make a lot of sense. Um, definitely the cons of this product. It's not as readily available to everyone. I know that a lot of people use this dry shampoo or the equivalent of this um, whether depending on scent and color. So it's definitely a well-known dry shampoo as well and I just feel that it works. The only reason that this comes in second place and it isn't tied for first is because of the um, extreme powder residue that is left behind with this. Um, rubbed in, you can still see it. Uh, that's the only issue I've had with this. I don't suggest this for anybody who has darker hair. Um, darker than I do. I don't have a huge issue getting it in, but that is why that one is falling in second place. Alright, so the final category is a tie for first place. And the tie comes between these two dry shampoos. The first being my gosh Fresh Up Dry Shampoo, which you can never read the label, which I purchased at Shoppers Drug Mart. Normally it's $9.99, but I actually got this one on sale for $6.99. Um, I purchased a whole bunch of them. So as you guys know, I love them. This one holds 5.3 fluid ounces, and it's a decent sized can. It's mid-range um, for weight, but it is the more expensive brand of dry shampoos. And tied with my gosh is the Suave Professionals Dry Shampoo, which looks like this. Apparently it is new. I picked this up at Target for $2.74. And for it to be tied in first place with my favorite dry shampoo, that's saying a lot. Now, um, this can holds five ounces, so it is a smaller can, but price-wise for $2.74, you're actually getting the most bang for your buck with this bottle of dry shampoo, which is really surprising, but it is the most cost-effective. I'm going to talk about this one first, and then I'll talk about my gosh one. So, um... This particular one, however, I only saw at Target, and I didn't look very closely for it at any 
anywhere else. Um, I did look at Walmart and Shoppers, but I did not see it um, in Canada, so it may only be purchasable in the United States. But for $2.74, it's totally worth it. Oh my god. First of all, this product smells amazing. It smells like citrusy grapefruit. And the smell stays in your hair all day. I love the smell of it. I love the smell of this stuff. It's, the scent stays in your hair all day. I absolutely love it. As you can see, it goes on pretty um, translucent. Like, there's not a whole lot of powder to this product. The other reason that I like this product is that it disperses throughout your hair really well. With a lot of the other products, it's just um, where you spray it, uh, you get, like, the little circle spot where the product has been sprayed. This one, however, um, has more of a vertical spray I don't know it's not just like all in one area it does disperse the product really well I don't know if you can see that but it's almost all across my hand which I think is great because then you don't have a lot of product going in one area you have a well dispersed product throughout your hair after massaging this in I don't have any white residue in my hair as you can see that is now dry and there is a white um, a slight residue there but once massaged in you can't see this at all it massages in really really well um, there's no residue left on my fingers there well maybe a mild one um, but it's pretty much gone off the back of my hand price wise this stuff is amazing the only downfall that I found to this product well there's two one it's not available everywhere um, I don't know where else Suave is available. I've only ever really seen it at Target. And like I said, I wasn't really looking too hard for this product. Um, it wasn't on my hit list of dry shampoos to purchase. So I don't know where else you can purchase this product. And like I said, haven't really seen it in the United States. The other con that I find to this product is that it doesn't last as long throughout my hair. It is one of the dry shampoos that I needed to throw in my bag and use to touch up throughout the day. Um, it... Five to six hours is about how long I got through with it, and it doesn't give a ton of volume. It does give some volume, but not a ton of volume. Love this one. It's amazing. It smells delicious. Um, you get a pretty good amount for $2.74, under $3 for the whole entire can, which is fabulous. It works. The only thing is, like I said, you need to touch it up. It has a very mild... Um, consistency to it like I said so this will work for people with darker hair I don't think you'll have an issue massaging this in at all because the um, powdery substance because the powder that's in this isn't really really thick and it doesn't disperse a whole lot of it when spraying it out either so you have a better chance of getting it massaged into your hair without leaving a gray overcast and then finally tied with the suave is my gosh fresh up dry shampoo I'm sure you guys expected this to be in my top products because I love this. It is my favorite all-time dry shampoo. I purchased this, like I said, at Shoppers Drug Mart. It's normally $8.99 or $9.99, sorry. So it is one of the more expensive dry shampoos. Personally, I love the packaging of this. I think it's very sleek and sophisticated looking and small things amuse small minds. I realize that, but I love, I love the way that this sounds like um, a spray paint can with the little ball inside. The product goes on pretty wet and you can already see around the edges how it is drying. Um, <coughs> oh my goodness. Okay. The only issue <coughs> that I have with very strong aerosol. I need to use this in a well ventilated area <coughs> or I start choking like I am right now. Eyes are going to start watering. It has a very strong baby powder scent to it and like I said it is a really strong aerosol <coughs> spray so I do have to use this with my bathroom fan on or in a well ventilated area that I hate about this product it really makes me cough and hack if you have breathing problems I wouldn't suggest this my dog is growling at something I don't know what other downfall to this product is that it is not available in the United States I'm not sure if you can order it online I will look and post a link down below it's also not available at every shoppers drug mart I have found many shoppers drug marts that don't carry any gosh um, hair care products so it's not as readily available which is a huge downfall to this product as you can see it is a very powdery substance but I find that this one massages in the best out of all of them absolutely nothing there residue mild there is some residue I'm not going to say that there's not but it's really mild so 
This one I find massages in the best. It lasts all day long. I don't have to retouch. It does not weigh down my hair. It gives me so much volume. It's crazy. Um, like I said, only three downfalls I find to this are um, the fact that it chokes me when I use it. Uh, it's not as readily available and it is the more expensive dry shampoo. So, <sighs> I feel like I've been talking forever. So if you guys have any questions or comments about any of these dry shampoos, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I hope this was informative for even one person and maybe you learned a little something about a dry shampoo that you um, want to purchase or whatever. If you guys have any comments about any other dry shampoos that I should test out because I'm always looking for good ones, feel free to leave them in the comments below as well. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye guys.